Now let's work on a very important and interesting function, which is going to be the click outside of an element. So simply you're going to have a function that detects when you click outside of an element and allows you to run any type of code. Most used is going to be your hide it. So for example, when you click outside of this element, it hides it. You click outside of this menu, it hides it. Okay. But our function is going to be a bit versatile. So you can, you know, hide it and also have another function. So you can run any type of code you want and do whatever calculation or whatever you need. Okay. When you click outside of that element, not necessarily hide this okay so it's going to be versatile and it's going to be easy and uh, to do so you can have it and use it in any type of projects you want and it's going to be a bit you know crucial for our projects okay so let's do it so the first thing i'm going to do is create a div it's going to be card this is all we're going to do to the test on so let me show you what i'm going to do so the height is going to be 500 pixels okay and the width is going to be 500 pixels and the bg is going to be red okay so now we have this element right here and we're going to do tests on it okay so we're going to create the function so let me go to the source i'm going to have a new folder let's call it helpers and inside this we can have the function let's call the file click outside.js and here we're going to have our function okay so it's going to be export default function and the function we're going to go let's click outside and then we're going to have a reference, the reference we're going to show you how to do it, which is going to be the reference of this element and also the function that you want to run. So let's call it fun, for example, okay? So I'm going to have our code right here. So we're going to have a use effect. You probably don't know what it is. If you don't know, I'm going to explain it. So this is a use effect. So this is a function. We have something inside this, okay, right here. So this is a code, for example, like console log something uh, use effects, okay? like this first of all it's not gonna work right here so the reason why because this function is gonna start with use and then it's gonna be capital so it's a react hook because you can't run use effects on a normal function right here in the file you need to add the use in the beginning and then the first name is gonna be capital so it's understandable to be as a react hook so it's acceptable to use like use effects and use this and all other stuff it's okay so now quickly let me explain use effects for people who don't know so just a function that runs everything inside it at least one time so this is the dependency tree for it so if we leave it empty this code can run one time when the page loads or the function is run so let's go back to the home let me call the function right here so use click outside and just run it okay import it and run it if we go back right here and open the console let me refresh you're gonna see the function runs and this console log use effect that we have right here okay so this is normally how it works when the page loads the components loads or the, con or the function runs it's gonna uh, run everything inside okay but there is another twist to it is that you can add dependencies for example we can have a variable let's call a and it's going to be equal zero and let's add this a as a dependency right here okay so now the thing is this function is gonna run every time this a changes okay so let me refresh it's been run once now let's go to a and make it one you're gonna see the function runs again two it runs again back to zero anything changing. so no matter uh, you know what's the value when it changes it's just gonna run the function again so this is simply what the use effect is so it's pretty cool to use so we're gonna add the reference as a dependency here because whenever we change the reference the, the use effect is gonna run again okay so this is simply what the use effect is so let me take everything inside from here and first of all we're gonna have a listener and i'm gonna show you why and it's gonna take an event and then we're gonna have an arm function like this okay so the simple thing we need the first thing that we're gonna make sure is that the reference that we pass is actually referencing to an actual element that exists so we can't just go and try to hide something or detect where it is when it doesn't exist so simply first of all we're gonna see that the reference dot current which is gonna be the element doesn't exist we're gonna catch it okay that's the first thing and also we're gonna make sure that we are not inside this so if we are inside this and we click inside this nothing is going to happen we're working and we click outside so and this is going to be simply achievable by going down to the reference and then current and see if it contains the e which is the element or the event and then we're going to see the target which is going to be the exact element so right here if one of them is true let me just show you what i'm going to do so when this is true so that the element doesn't exist or we are inside this we're not going to run everything so all our code is going to go when we are outside of this and the elements exist okay so we can go right here and add return because we're not going to do anything okay else we just simply gonna run the function that we have which is going to be fun so this is exactly what we're doing okay and now i want to add the event listeners okay so which is going to be the click outside okay so i'm going to go i'm going to go to the document documents and add level listener 
and it's going to be mouse down and i'm going to explain what's the difference so the on click be difference between them is the on click is when you click outside so you have your mouse you're going to have the left side which is that you click so that's when we have when we capture when you on click okay but the mouse down it's you know you know captures when you click on the left of the mouse or the right of the mouse or the middle of the mouse okay just forget my voice it's actually just you know been recording for a long while so my voice uh, sometimes faces okay so as i said mouse down captures all the events or the clicks that you have in your mouse so if you click on the left it counts as a click if you click on the right of the mouse it counts as a click and in the middle so the code is gonna run whenever you write on the click uh, the click side the right side or the left side or the middle okay so this is what i'm doing and we're gonna pass the function that we want to run when we do this which is gonna be the listener and also we're gonna add it to the touch which is the same one but this time it's gonna be on touching and not clicking which is going to be touch start, okay and we're going to clean the this so return which is a simple process for events so we're going to go the same ways and it's not going to be at event listener let me just copy them and let's go right here and then change it to remove events event listener like this okay so now we can go back to the home itself so now we we'll let's refer to this card okay so simply first of all let's create a reference so let's call this cons let's call it for example l and it's going to be equal to use ref which is going to be called from react and in the beginning the initial value is going to be null and we're going to go to the card and reference it to this element which is going to be l so now we want to run the function which is going to pass the reference that we reference the elements with so we're going to pass the element and right here you're gonna pass the function you can write a separate function and call it by name right here or can you can create the function right here so you can just go and have an arrow function and do whatever you want right here so simply you can go ref dot current dot style you know and you can play with it like uh, display and it's gonna be equal to none and this is not gonna be uh, ref is gonna be elements okay so this is how you change it uh, let me just go let me see what's the problem right here okay oh yeah yeah this is a problem this is gonna be before because we're gonna need to initialize it first okay and if we refresh there's no problem now if we click outside it's gonna have and as you see it's been hidden okay so that's the way you can do it or the best way to do it we're gonna do it this way and also you can hide this in a different way which is gonna be by using a state so const let's we use this before so like for example visible and say it's visible and it's gonna be in the beginning you state and it's gonna be false in the beginning okay like this and let me remove this function and we're gonna do it again let's just have the reference okay so we can go right here and this element is not gonna be shown okay unless visible is true for example okay so like visible when it's true then it's gonna be shown so now visible is false it's not gonna be shown so the main or the the initial value is gonna be true so now when it's true then it's gonna show so if you want to hide this we can just play with the value of the visible and make it false and then gonna this disappear okay so you can go use click outside and right here pass the reference which is the element and then the function that we're gonna run right here which is gonna simply set the visible to false and we're gonna change the value of false and this is not gonna be shown okay and simply now we click outside and it's not gonna be shown okay so this is how to hide elements using click outside you can just run any function right here so you can just refresh this you can also like um, console log you clicked outside let me go right here and i'm going to click outside as you're going to see that's going to be put right here okay like this okay i can use like the right mouse and then it works also i'm going to click on the middle and it's also work okay that's why we use the mouse down one of the things that i forget to test also is that when we click outside it disappears but when we click outside this is nothing gonna happen so as you click inside this nothing's gonna change or happen until you click outside okay so that was for the function it was pretty simple to make nothing you know especially hard so i'm gonna use this across all our application so i'll see you later